Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to try and demystify myths which are very prevalent with the general population. This is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fessment Hospitals, Chennai. I am a surgical gastroenterologist and I hope this video is useful. A very common problem in the community is liver diseases. It's extremely common. More and more people seem to be succumbing to this liver diseases. Now here the myth is that you do not form chronic liver disease unless you are an alcohol abuser or you have some kind of viral infection such as hepatitis B or C. Now you often get patients who are diagnosed to have diseased liver. You know, I'm typically talking about cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is the last stage of the liver getting completely diseased and forming irreversible scarring. So that is usually irreversible condition. Now, you diagnose patients for the first time and you tell them that they've got a diseased liver, namely cirrhosis. And the first thing the patient says is, I've never had touched alcohol before or nor have I ever been jaundiced. And often their viral markers are also negative. You know, if you check for hepatitis B, C, it is negative. And this is a sizable population is also women folk. Now they say, I've never done anything to deserve this disease. Now people do not remember and do not accept the fact that fatty liver is the biggest cause of cirrhosis. Now the trend is changing in a country like ours. The biggest cause of new cirrhotic patients is fatty liver. And fatty liver happens because of huge amounts of carbohydrate we take with the diet, namely rice or wheat. And I know in subcontinent, our people are predominantly dependent on this as their staple diet. And therefore, we are all prone for developing fatty liver. Now, anybody with a paunch will invariably have a fatty liver. And fatty liver is a diagnosis which you see so often when you look at ultrasound scan reports for anybody, you know, for any test you do it and they will say the patient has fatty changes in the liver and it is graded as 1, 2 and 3. And grade 2, grade 3 is actually bad news and if it continues for a prolonged period of time, I am talking about decades, prolonged period of time, that itself is enough to cause permanent scarring of the liver going on to cirrhosis and then from there on to other dangerous complications, sometimes requiring a transplant of the liver. So please do understand that fatty liver is a warning sign, right? Now when we have a diagnosis of fatty liver made on an ultrasound scan, the first thing we need to look at is how we change our diet, how we exercise, how we reduce weight. That is the only way you can stop the progress of the disease. There is no other magical tablet which is available which will stop the progress of fatty liver to a chronic liver disease model or a cirrhotic model. So the take-home message is take it easy with carbohydrates. Thank you.